हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज प्रियंद्र कुमार दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो इन प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट डैशबोर्ड सीरीज इन द फर्स्ट थ्री वीडियोस यू हैव लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस ब्यूटीफुल डैशबोर्ड एंड दिस कैन चार्ट एंड वी हैव आल्सो डिस्कस दिस सेटिंग सीट सपोर्ट सीट एंड डेटा नाउ इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न how to create a resource utilization visualization so here i would like to show you the resource utilization in this column we have taken the resource name or the employee name allocated for this project and this is the month you can see the monthly view here at a time it will display one month and you can use this scroll the horizontal scroll to change the month and to change the employee list you can use this vertical scroll bar so just click here then it will display the next employee here i have created this legend in this legend i have displayed if the color of any particular day is green that means for that particular employee there is no task has been allocated so for the september 19 you can see for employee saving there is no task allocated here if the color is pink that means one task has been allocated so here for this employee 12 on 5th of september one task has been allocated if color is dark red that means there is more than one task is there we have used this gray color for weekend and if there is any dark gray color that means that is the holiday so let me show you one example for the october month so here in october the second day is holiday and 28th is holiday and you can manage the holiday from setting sheet here we have given the holiday list so you can see the holiday i have put few dates here and you can manage your weekends also so if you will see i have given sunday weekend here i have selected by means weekend is sunday and for monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and saturday also i have put there an that means these are not weekend but this is weekend so you can see here only one gray line is available if i will select let's say here saturday yes then it should highlight two days for weekend you can see now it is two days now i will explain you how i have created this beautiful resource utilization visualization so let's start first of all i'm going to review tab and i will unprotect this c i have not put any kind of password here so simply just click unprotect and it will be unprotected first of all i'll tell you how can you insert a scroll bar you can insert a scroll bar from developer tab insert and from form control so i have used this scroll bar you can simply just drag the horizontal scroll bar or you can make it vertical scroll bar using mouse like this then you can connect it with a cell so let me delete this and i will show you from where i have connected so let me move this up here right click go to the format control and here i have connected with this cell but there is no value is visible so let me go to the home and you can see the formatting is custom so i'll select journal then you can see the 9 is available here right click go to the format control and you can see it is connected with c6 so it is pretty much similar like gantt chart so here again i will change it journal then you will see a number here to get the resource name i have created a list on setting sheet you can see this is available here so we have simply used index formula so you can see i am simply using index let me show you this formula simply just delete and then i will put this formula once again i'll use the index index i'll go to the setting sheet and let's say i'm taking this range just press f4 comma then we have to put the number let's say i'm putting 1 then what will happen it is giving me the header if i will put here 2 then it will give me the first employee available in setting sheet here so we have to make this number dynamic then what i have done there i have used simply this number and just press f then it is returning the employee file i have added here plus row number row and then i have taken a1 and just close it now you can simply 
fill this down and paste a special formula so it will give you the all employee list here if i will click then this value will be changed and accordingly these value also will be changed all right now for this slicer what i have done i have used eo month formula here so the eo month formula i have used from data sheet f2 i'll show you the f2 value this is the f2 value so we are taking the first date of the project all right so here we are using eo month f2 then here we are using resource d6 this one d6 minus 1 and then we are using plus 1 here so basically we are getting the first day of the month if this value will be 0 let's say this is 0 all right then 0 minus 1 will be the minus 1 so whatever date is there it will give you the last date of previous month and then i am using plus one so it will give you the first date of this month now here what i have done on this header so first of all i am taking the first date from here then i am simply using if e saving this value is the e saving so let me display the headings also then it will be easy to understand this is the e saving so here if e saving if this value is blank then it will give you the blank and then e7 plus 1 if e7 plus 1 is greater than end of the month of this then it will give you the blank otherwise it will give you the e7 plus 1 so why i have used e7 plus 1 and checking the end of the month so let's say if there is fab 2019 then there will be 28 days so here it should be blank it should not give 29 all right then i have changed the format as day so let me show you alt o e and custom number format i have taken only d here so it is just displaying the day all right now i'll show you this range so here we have put some formula so let me show you that formula this is the form all right so these are actually multiple formulas now let me show you one formula so it will easy to understand and we have put the similar formula for each cell see this is one formula then this is plus the second formula then third and fourth we have put the four formulas here the first formula is let me explain you this formula i'm just going to put this formula here if e saving this value is blank then it will give you the blank so basically it will not highlight wherein date is not available if this is not blank then we have used the count tips so it is getting the count on the data sheet so column b is the employee name so here we are taking the count if of b to b and then criteria we are giving the first employee this one then the second criteria range we are taking the f to f so i'll show you the f to f f is this start date so count the employee according to the criteria then the second criteria is the start date and the start date should be less than or equal to e7 this date the first date and the second criteria is the end date this one end date column g should be greater than or equal to this date so basically if this date is coming between start date and end date and the employee name is matching then it will give you the count otherwise it will give you the zero all right now i'll show you why i have used four formulas there i am considering that for one task multiple employee can be allocated so here i have given four employees name option you can put the another employee name also here and the third employee fourth employee also for one task only so basically if you will look at this formula this is the formula this highlighted one is taking from column b which is the first employee column then the formula is same this one only difference is i'm using c to c the next one i'm using d to d for getting the employee name and here i'm using the e to e for employee name criteria all right and i'm using plus between these so we are getting the count here then i have used simply conditional formatting let me show you we have used five conditional formatting i'll show you the first one it is pretty much simple conditional formatting if you will see here this is if the value is equal to one then it will return simply this color we have used from fill effects and using two colors we have used it then the second condition is if the value is greater than one then it will return 
this color the third one is this one here we have used simply if the value is blank right this is blank then light gray color and then we have used these two formula this is similar to gain chart and here we have used the same formula which we used in the previous video so friends if you have not watched the previous video of this series request to please watch that so it will be easy to understand so i have used the simple vlookup formula let me show you this vlookup formula just copy so let me put this vlookup formula here so basically it will return n or y so if you will look at this formula it is taking vlookup then lookup value we are taking the text as ddd means it will return day of this date then we are using the vlookup from setting sheet 2 comma 0 so i'll show you the setting sheet this is the setting sheet so basically it will give you the y or n then we are using if this value is equal to by so it will return true or false right so if it will return true then it will be highlighted in gray you can see if it will return true then it should be highlighted in gray otherwise it will not highlight similarly the last one we are using the match function first of all match then this date and we are matching from holiday list if this value is error that means it is not matching so we are using if error is equal to false this is not an error then it should highlight that date now i'll show you the holiday list the setting sheet this is the holiday list we have used if i will put any holiday let's say this is the fab month for example i want to put the holiday on 5th and 6th right then we can simply go to the setting sheet put 5th fab and 6th fab you can put your holiday name here now i'll show you so you can see the 5th and 6th is highlighted in holiday color this is the legend of holiday all right friends so that is how you can create this resource utilization this is a dynamic resource utilization visualization you can use this in your project management you can easily come to know who is available for the specific date who have more than one task who have one task only for any date here to hide the number we have used the custom format let me show you that custom formatting press alt o e then here you can see in the format cells we have used these three semicolons here so it is not displaying any text if i will use let's say journal then it will display you the numbers all right on the base of these number we have used the conditional formatting that's it in this part and next part of this video you will learn how to create the beautiful timeline using the color coding like red amber green and you will learn how to create the beautiful yearly heat map of the task so please watch the next part of this video thank you so much for watching